Hello. Going to do a little bit here with uh, masking the graphic. This is from my KNT course. And uh, this is my supply folder. This is uh, course KNT2, uh, lesson one, part of it. See, so we need two things. We need number 12 mask. I'm left clicking and dragging and dropping and into my uh, PSP and the beachhead kit this is where I open up a lot of my graphics and, and rather than going file open and all that <laughs> just my preference okay with our graphic we want to do a shift D or Windows duplicate and we want to close out the original which has the original file name on it beachhead close it out just to preserve our original here you see our uh, mask has a number 12 on it and that will be important later see we need to make a copy on this and this is just for the lesson uh, you can right click and do a copy or you can do a control C or you can do an edit copy and we're going to use that later in the lesson but not on this video and now we're going to apply the number 12 mask to the graphic that's where we're heading now layers new mask layer from image and you see it says image 7 here which is the same thing that our graphic says image 7 we have to open it up and find our mask there's our mask we have to select it number 12 and we want source luminance checked and invert mask data checked okay so it's applied the mask to the graphic we look on our layers palette and hold our cursor over each layer we see we got the graphic on the bottom next next layer is uh, the mask over it and the top shows the same thing that we see on the screen there if we right click on this group we can go merge merge group and it makes it all one layer and now we have a masked image ready to go and that's that's the name of the game. That's applying a mask to a graphic. How about that? Hope you like that.